Today I'm showing you the two different builds for Brunar. Now you'll notice this power level for me is a little bit low. I have the invincibility build, so um, I'm just working on building up gear. I, ha I could easily raise this power level to near 4,000. Same thing, I can raise caddies actually to over 4,000, but I have uh, AP's bonus set and I have the acid bow, so I'm doing an insane amount of damage with having that uh, poison duration more so than if I would have raised my power level with the other gear I have. But and the first, I'm going to show you the tank build, and then I'm going to show you a little bit more offensive way to build them. Now, I'm recommending the tank build, because even if you went with the offensive build on him, he's still not doing a lot of offense. So I kind of feel like building him towards the role that he is, the tank, is kind of ideal. Now, I went 20 on the strength, so you do get some power with him, and you can do inflict some damage. He does get um, the bonus off the Wisdom already, uh, the, at least the Elemental Resistance, just alone off doing Conditioning. So you don't really need to do this, just just makes him able to stand in front of like every Elemental attack and just block it forever. So, I kind of did that. Um, I, I don't know, when if they let me respect points, I might actually go into this other build that I'm about to tell you, so... The other build, if you want a little bit more offense, what you would do is you would go max on strength, max on condition, because max on condition would give you a lot of stamina, and it would also give you the elemental resistance. It wouldn't give you the condition resistance, but the conditions generally aren't that bad. I mean, there is the freeze in some boards. Um, you can get confused, and a lot of times that shit can fuck you up. So this tank build is just like, um, okay, I really don't care. I can get hit with the freeze and like, n a lot of times you even like negate it, um, which is pretty sweet. But back to going a little bit more offense, just go max on strength, max on condition, or like 18, 19 on condition. Or you could even go 15 on condition, and then you could go into dex and intelligence. Um, I'd probably split like... Uh, 75 on the dex, 25 on the intelligence, or depending on your play style, if you're definitely going for that high and elemental damage weapon, then you might want to go 50 50 uh, or 75 25 on the intelligence dex. Really matters if you're really trying to get that, uh, if you're trying to do more crit damage on your physical attacks, or if you want to do more damage once you get the flame acid or poison bow now those do do really good damage right now but they very well be may be nerfed so it's gonna be a little bit up to you how you want to split your decks and intelligent based off your play style and uh what weapon if you're ultimately going to keep playing him till you get that weapon with like the, the tier 5 doubled up on the acid or doubled up on the flame where you can probably do some really good damage with that. But even still, I've talked to some dwarfs that had all that shit. Yeah, they're still not even doing... They're not... I mean, they're doing some damage. But they're also far from a tank. And they're not killing ridiculously quick like the other three classes. So, personally, right now... I still would make the tank the tank. Since he's not really going to be charging at elites. No matter how you build him and kill him. So, I just feel like... Since I really can't do that anyway. If I played the Dwarf, I'd rather just be the tank. So, that's my build, uh, the build I'm using. And uh, But I also wanted to show you an example of how you could play him a little bit more offensively and do a little bit more damage. Of course, you are going to be severely more squishy. It definitely is the trade-off. But you got no bonuses, really, for being straight offensive. Because you got to block and parry. To get your bonuses and um, that he's just not going to be one of those characters that can annihilate elites or take out mobs quickly. But yep, those are the two builds for Brunar the Dwarf. I hope that helps.